Living donor kidney transplant is associated with better graft survival compared to deceased donor kidney transplantation. But a deep understanding of the risk, risks associated with living donation is essential for appropriate informed consent. I'm Timochin Tanner, one of the transplant surgeons at Mayo Clinic. There's an upcoming article in May 2022 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings about complications after hand-assisted laparoscopic liver donor nephrectomy. To date, studies have only reported short-term complications. So in this study, we're presenting the results of the largest study to date that looked into the complications associated with this surgery via the laparoscopic approach. 3,002 donors in a 20-year period donated a kidney at Mayo Clinic, and this represents the first study that followed these donors up for a long period and just not during the initial hospitalization. The results are very reassuring that this operation is extremely safe, that there were no deaths due to the surgical procedure. And while complications requiring medical or surgical interventions occurred in only about 2.5% of all donors studied, all of these donors recovered completely. Most of the complications were related to the surgical incision, either hernias or infections. And it was reassuring also to see that with accumulating experience, the overall incidence of complications decreased during the study period from 2000 to 2005. So overall, the study results reinforce the safety of this procedure, but they also highlight the importance of post-donation follow-up with donors because most of these complications were found to have occurred after discharge from the initial hospitalization. With close follow-up and timely intervention, these complications were treated without any long-term sequela. So although the overall complications rate was very small, Given that we followed these donors for a long period of time, we were able to dig deep to investigate the risk factors for such complications. And our results demonstrate that none of the risk factors that are normally and typically associated with surgical complications, such as obesity, previous smoking history, previous abdominal surgery, increased the risk of complications for donors. In this cohort, about a third were over BMIs of 30, meeting the obesity criteria, and about a fifth of them had previous surgeries. And we found that none of these increased the risk of having complications. So overall, the, the takeaway is that this, is, this life-saving surgery is extremely safe when done in experienced centers. This study was a collaborative, collaborative effort of the entire transplant team here at Mayo Clinic, including the surgeons, nephrologists, trainees, nurse coordinators, and social workers. So we all invite you to read the full manuscript that will be appearing in the May 2022 issue of the uh, Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.